Hi everyone, this is Ari Kopel with Shattering the Matrix. Yesterday, February the 11th, Serena and I proceeded to have a chat with a lady who calls herself Sophie. Sophie uh, is a person who apparently lived under Sharia law and the whole point of the conversation yesterday was to find out a little bit more about her and her story. It was supposed to be a 15 minute chat and what happened was that she she was revealing so much information and it just so happened that I I guess was smart enough that day to record it um, because what usually happens uh, when we have chats with people or even Serena and I have a chat uh, I always kind of regret the fact that uh, we didn't record it because it's just amazing information comes out of that so yesterday I decided to record the chat and the chat became almost an hour and a half worth of incredible excruciating information um, that left Serena and I totally sick. Um, it was overwhelming, it was very heavy, it was something that you would probably not even conceive probably in when you go into even when you watch a movie for example uh, you go to see uh, a horror movie or something like that that you can commit you know you see it you experience the fear uh, you experience the dread and then you leave the movie theater well unfortunately um, Serena and I were experiencing that but reality is that we really couldn't leave the movie theater because we are in that movie theater we are in that story and the reality is that the information that was shared by Sophie is very real and it is happening to millions and millions of people um, that probably don't even have a voice at this moment to be able to express the horrors that they're facing. So with that in mind, uh, please understand that what we are about to share is of extreme importance and that we cannot take this lightly. Um, this is something that is very, very evil. It is probably the reason that uh, things like CERN have come into existence, uh, why people have probably photographed uh, demonic spirits or demonic entities or have witnessed them. Uh, it's probably something like the pits of hell, if we can even use that, but something like that has been opened, maybe a rip in time, in space, uh, a, a portal has come in or who knows what uh, is allowing this to happen. But it's a terrible um, force that is uh, inhabiting millions and millions and probably billions of people that are infiltrating countries uh, that don't have the best interest in mind of those countries as they come in. Uh, they're not coming in with an attitude of gratitude, they're coming in with an attitude of conquering. And what they're capable of uh, doing is puts, puts the, mo uh, the, the word monster, it makes it look like a cartoon, like a Disney cartoon. So. I implore you to please listen to this interview with an open mind as well as the one that I presented with Farah Prudence. Uh, I am pretty sure that as this YouTube goes out and this information goes out, 
I am pretty sure that there might be other people that have experienced this that would like to come up, um, come out as witnesses or test them, give testimonials with respect to their experiences. Um, I, I tell you that it puts me in a terrible situation because I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. I'm damned if I do because there's a lot of people out there, uh, especially in the quote unquote spiritual community uh, that unfortunately um, are not willing to um, to take in this information um, there is a bias towards this uh, this culture and um, and unfortunately they're part of what is fueling uh, the um, the action of the left left uh, side of the government or the dark shadowed government uh, to push against those that are wanting to protect this country meaning the United States of America so every time that we look away or we are part of the protests or endorse protests or things like that that are done deliberately with the purpose of bringing in that Trojan horse we are not only getting ourselves in danger we're endangering our loved ones as well as as well as all the citizens of this world so again I implore you to be a little bit more responsible uh, at least have an open mind to at least listen and contemplate the potential of this threat um, it takes a person that is very, very mature spiritually to be able to uh, to listen to something like this objectively and then make a determination based on the evidence that is being presented that goes against what you are being fed by interested parties that don't have your best interest in mind. So with that uh, said, I would invite you to please listen to this interview that happened as a nonchalant chat just to know each other prior to the real interview um, and then this one became the interview I have included all the links that Sophie has provided so that you can follow along with her as she narrates each of these videos which are absolutely like incredible and uh, the very last thing link that I will have uh, uh, also included uh, I think is the icing on the cake it is absolutely horrible uh, I I personally could not go there um, I was already sick so if you have that uh, courage to look at that and and that will be some, the the the, the 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 evidence that you need to make up the, your mind then I strongly suggest you look at that I didn't need any anything else any more convincing so again I thank you very much for tuning in to shattering the matrix uh, as always uh, we will bring you things that are not exactly very pretty um, but unfortunately they are the truth they're part of this world and now more than ever we need to be very very vigilant we need to be very vigilant we need to grow a very strong backbone and uh, face these fears and do something about it uh, it really is up to us to do something about it and if we all can get together through prayer uh, through being vigilant through sharing this information I think we can get through this uh, but if we are in denial and think everything is hunky-dory um, and believe that this particular uh, group of individuals uh, are, are, are benign and, and good-hearted and they're just looking for an opportunity for uh, safety and all those things that this country provides then when when the stuff hits the fan uh, we have no one to blame but ourselves and I'm certainly not included myself in that because I'm doing everything possible for that not to happen I certainly don't want my friends or my loved ones to experience the kind of 
experiences that Sophie and Farah and millions of other people and women and children are experiencing right now uh, in, in, you know, under these conditions under Sharia law and all those uh, 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 Islamic uh, conditions that are being imposed on people. So, like I said, when I use the word we, I'm certainly not including myself because I am doing everything I can. So with that uh, in mind again, uh, you are going to be listening to the interview with uh, Sophie, myself, and, uh, and Serena. Thank you very much. Now, um, I'm going to record this just in case that uh, we, and I always do this now from now on because sometimes we can get into really good conversation and then we miss the, you know, recording it. So, um, yeah. and just in case, you know, this, uh, my aim with today is really to, for it to be like a 15 minute, uh, get to know each other conversation, just to, uh, understand what it is that we're going to be addressing. And then we can have a pre-recorded uh, interview at a, uh, at a later date. It could even be tomorrow if you're available. Uh, so mm -hmm. does that sound okay with you? Yeah, sound great. Then hello, Serena. Hello. How would you like to be called? Uh, well, uh, let's go with Sophie. Sophie, perfect. Sophie. I love that. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, Sophie. Uh, so so yeah, yeah. you heard, you guys heard uh, the radio show with Farah. Yeah. And how did you hear about the radio show? From uh, Sarah Brudens, we follow her. Oh, wonderful. And uh, on Facebook, uh, because I am, I, I love what she, uh, the way she talks. Yes. And uh, just to happen to hear her interview with you. And it was beautiful interview, very casual, uh, from the heart. Yes. Uh, it's not rigid, nothing rigid about it. It's just uh, like very fluent and... Uh, then I ask to contact you guys. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So, what was it that you that you made you want to contact uh, me, and uh, specifically, what kind of uh, information did you did you want to share, or did you need? Okay, here is the deal. I came from the Middle East. I lived under Sharia law as a Christian, and I seen horror, and I seen in a nutshell like hell on earth. When I came here, I thought it's a piece of cake. I'm going to go to the CIA, the FBI's, and go and tell them Islam is very bad, Muslims are very bad, don't allow them here. Uh, that wasn't the case. I met Americans and I didn't know better, so I was like really uh, naive at the way I present Islam to them. Because to me, I, I, I lived it and I want to tell you, you're going you're gonna to be uh, hurt really bad. Uh, keep them out, but to Americans, I didn't realize it's a very foreign thing to them. So I talked to them. I got a lot of rejections from them and a lot of uh, into a lot of argument with them, uh, not knowing the left or the right wing. I don't know anything about that. Right. So you thought you so, yeah. I'm sorry. You thought that you were going to be coming here and expressing your case, and everybody was going to listen to you, and you found yeah. a lot of resistance. I thought it's uh, oh man, they're gonna be like lining up uh, to 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 hear what I say, not because of anything of me, but the message is very simple. They raped uh, me. That I have scars in my body, and they were showing them my scars, and uh, I, w I told them what happened with me, what happened with my family. My my uncle was uh, his head was cut open from the back. Mm. And when I in, in the pool of blood, when I hugged him, his brain came out. So I mm. thought, hey, I'm going to tell them what happened with me. Very, uh, very, um, uh, like, rogue version without any uh, uh, sugaring, without any... Uh, Editing. Uh, yeah, just, just the way I lived it, I'm going to just bore it on you and believe me before it happened to you. Uh, but it didn't uh, sync well with Americans, whether the right wing or the left wing um, back in the day when I started to talk about it, because first of all, they never 
uh, lived that kind of life. I lived it. And they never imagined there is such a group of people that they wake up in the morning. Those, yeah. uh, they get up in the morning not to enjoy a nice breed, not to enjoy a good morning, uh, not to enjoy a normal day, but to have um, uh, violence. They, uh, they sur revive and survive in violence and blood. <laughs> And uh, an extreme uh, way of uh, living that is not normal to any culture. Yeah. Uh, so the conflict was uh, the the the, the uh, what I found was was really hard. Is this is very foreign to Westerners. That's why they cannot accept it that I am telling everybody is bad. I, I was telling everybody is bad. I was not uh, saying uh, moderate or good, uh, radical or bad. Because I wanted to tell them, give me a chance, I will explain to you. But my language also wasn't the best. So now people are talking about it more. Uh, the, the very, um, uh, the version of not uh, white coding anything or sugar coding anything, just the way it is. Here is Mohammed. He was a very bad criminal, and this is this is what I love about what I hear now. Uh, the trend of saying it as it is, uh, forget about the, the TV, uh, being so sweet about it, being be uh, politically correct about it. But Mohammed was very bad. Yeah. And I want to also join um, in this wagon of enforcing uh, the, 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 the message that it's really bad. It's going to be when it happens, when it, you allow it to happen, it's going to be a flood. It's going to wipe everybody on yeah. its uh, way. So it's not something we can live with. It's not something that we can cope with. It's something we're going to destroy everything around us. Uh, with that, also, I figured um, how can I show Americans uh, that what I lived in, show it in a visual picture, and thank God now there is YouTube uh, that uh, allow us to, 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 to take videos of them mm -hmm. and show them every day how they uh, behave. And this in our presentation, when we go around and show uh, videos and images, people are stunned. They said, we never imagined this kind of behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, we will never, we, we cannot believe this happens and happen, uh, and happen in a daily basis. And it's not happening only from radicals. It's not on, happening only from uh, um, a few extremes. No, in 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 the in the, in the stock market, there is very common uh, uh, terminology or expressions. Simply, uh, the Wall Street versus the Main Street. The Wall Street are the professionals. The Main Street is everyday person, normal person like me and you. And this is what I want to American to understand. Everyday Muslim is way, way worse than somebody with a machete is going to go and, uh, and charge on five people and kill them. Huh. You got to watch the everyday Muslim. You cannot uh, believe what's going to happen to you with everyday Muslim. That's my message. Everyday Muslim are not the extremists and not the, 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 the radicals or not the one who misunderstood. You gotta see, it's it's a big storm coming your way. And, uh, so you're, you're saying that the, the everyday Muslims are pretty much, they're, they're low key and that, that could be just as dangerous because we really don't know how they're behaving because they're, they keep it low key. They keep it as if they're peaceful. Exactly. Yeah. And this is why I, I sent you the bunch of videos. Yeah. Uh, if you have time, we can walk. Uh, through those videos very quickly, maybe 10 minutes or less, mm -hmm. and you can review it in your own convenient time. But the thing is about Islam, here is the thing. Islam is a culture of the Saudi Arabia tr tribes, mountain, Bedouins, savage people. 
And this culture, culture of uh, uh, violence, culture consumed with sex, culture consumed with uh, treachery, uh, gang raping, mafia mentality, gang mentality, all this wrapped around this culture wrapped around and put in a book written uh, material called the Quran. Muhammad was not uh, just a, a bad apple in, in Saudi Arabia. Muhammad was one of the bad people in this uh, uh, Saudi Arabia place. And Muslim are not following uh, in his footsteps because he's, he, uh, he is the role model. But Muslim are like him because they are fellow brothers, if yeah. this makes sense. More than just a role model, I'm looking up to him and doing what he was doing. They are just like him, you know, and you, you when you sent the email uh, to us, uh, you highlighted a great point, uh, Ari, when you said uh, demonic uh, religions uh, and they, they are having things in common and the reason is yeah they do and this this saudi arabian uh, uh bedouins they were they were demonic uh, uh and satanic worshippers and uh the i think the reason that uh, got islam spread all over as we seen it in the maps is because those uh, uh, de demonic uh, worshippers, cultures, accepted Islam as well and signed up for it. It's not only, it's something like it has uh, the sword with the sacred uh, 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 cause. So uh, that's why I I believe that the spread of Islam spread not only because of those uh, bunch of savage uh, Saudis went to all over the, the, the countries and and uh, start to slaughter them, but because also uh, cultures like the Persian cultures, culture like the Mongolian cultures, where they were also deep into the satanic uh, worship, embraced this kind of uh, uh, savage culture which comes from Saudi Arabia. So they, they like, in, in a sense, <clears throat> they, they joined the uh, uh, alliances. Right. No, that, that, you know, it just makes perfect, perfect sense. Now, you know, obviously they spill a lot of blood. Uh, notice that there are a lot of, there's a lot of uh, children that are used in sex and sex slave and all that. That's all part of the, uh, the satanic rituals and stuff. And, uh, yeah. you know, so when you see, when you see the, the behavior of this type of, you know, culture, uh, mm. y it's it's very clear that that this is what's happening. Do you agree, Serena, as well? Yes, I just as I'm listening to to Sophie, I'm just wondering how we're dealing with psychopathy. That that that's all it is. It's, it's psychopathy. They can call it whatever they want, but it's sickness when yes. when violence and blood is your Violence and blood is the religion. Is their religion for the for these men? Because it's the men that enforce. Is it not? Yeah, that's that's great. And you know what, guys? Because I know that you understand about the psychology. That's why I want to talk to you about those videos. The psychology of the Muslims, and I lived it, and I told that to scientists and I thought he's going to help me in it, but he didn't. Uh, Ari and Serena, those people, since they are little kids, they are very, very different than us. I seen, I seen my people, I seen my family, I seen the church, the people in the church, the, our, the Christian people in the street, and I seen the Muslims, and I can tell you, I was a six-year-old kid, and I said those people were the, who are the Muslims are not the people I see in the church. Hmm. 
those are different. I told my dad, those, those not the people, this not our people. This not, it's something very disturbing about them, demonically evil, very evil, like kid, a five year old kid. We're talking about spreading a woman's legs all wide open and rape her. Mm. And, and talking about details and the kid, I seen kids in, uh, Muslim kids in my school having sex at the age eight and talk every time they have a disagreement with each other. Right away, I will do you by, by the very ugly, nasty words. Yeah. Uh, uh, right away, sexual uh, threatening. Uh, the sexual, the sexual um, um, phrases they use is uh, it like uh, make my ear bleed. I say that because I I live in uh, we uh, pretty much met every different nationality in this planet. But I, I I hear Americans use a word, uh, the F word here and there, and it does not bother me that much. But when a Muslim say it, it's just very disturbing, <clears throat> very disturbing. And uh, the Muslim, we say, is like a walking, uh, I'm sorry, we are all ladies, a walking penis on the... Mm. the uh, it's okay. nothing else nothing else it's just so nothing everything in his head consumed with sex and violent sex not just sex not sex to yes. enjoy and have ask a woman out to and have a good time yeah it's not the making love type of sex no it's, it's, it's not making love it's, it's, it's not it's, love right it's something to prove that i'm more powerful than yes, you yes exactly they're using it as a weapon it's, yeah they weaponize everything yes yes uh, sophie i have a question even when sure. it comes to these five-year-olds and and these other and, and all of these uh, these men who pick up weapons and who treat other people as as uh, submissive servants uh, do you think that they are possessed it, it, uh, how much of this is is possessed because then i'm absolutely convinced that there is a degree but I want to know how much of it is because there are some people who say that some of the a lot of these men are just brainwashed and they are misled and they make all kinds of excuses for their behavior and that's all it is is excuses. But when it comes to possession, there, it, I think in a lot of those cases there is uh, there really is no self possession. You you are completely taken over. Could h how much of this? If any, do you think this is happening? I think if I understand the question, because you were breaking up, yeah, you're breaking uh, up uh, there is, yeah, there is a great level of uh, a demonic, strong demonic spirit. There is a, a, a chapter in uh, this book, Quran, devoted to uh, a demon, a jinn a demon oh, God. and when you read the Quran I read the Quran and I have it something like as if something uh, depressing uh, roaming around you if you are a spiritual person because if you are not a spiritual person it might not affect as much mm. but uh, I, I believe there is a very strong demonic uh, presence uh, on this in this culture. It would it's have to be for five-year-olds to be five-year-olds to be acting like that. This is not the behavior of a five-year-old child. It has to be for that. You know another another story also to, uh, about that also. Um, I, I was raised in a farm by my grandmother uh, and. Uh, we, I have a lot of cousins, a lot of, uh, lot, we are large families uh, in the Middle East. Uh, and uh, my my cousins, uh, we get together and we play, we have a lot of fun, we go home. But uh, our Muslim neighbor's kid, I, a little kid, maybe seven or eight, I don't remember. Uh, he, uh, they, we all have own animals or have animals. Uh, he had, uh, they had, 
uh, a donkey in there. He strapped uh, a Molotov uh, cocktail bottle in his uh, tail. And so the donkey, when he walks, uh, he jiggled the, the, the bottle and then the bottle will heat up and explode, uh, oh. blow up the, yeah. the animal. Uh, and it's not, I can tell you, it's not his mom or dad that taught him to do that. Yeah. So there's that inherent malice yes, inside yes. each of these children uh, that maybe the parents are not even getting to them to teach them. It's just that it's inherent, which tells me, Serena, that there might be some kind of portal or something. I tell you, um, something that's coming in and out from there. Um, I yeah. remember that I was telling you that I was li listening to that thing about Antarctica. The guy, I, I was listening to it, and he said something very interesting. He said that the pyramids in Antarctica, um, they're, the way that they're positioned, they're in alignment with Mars and middle, the Middle East with, with Antarctica. So you've got Middle East, Antarctica, and Mars are all in alignment. Now that... I found yeah. that to be very interesting. Um, so I'm sorry. I, I I just wanted to point something out because Mars, like obviously uh, gods back in the you know the Roman time and Greek times, it's also the the, the planet is it influences that type of thing. So uh, very interesting. So so you think that these these people, without a doubt, are are possessed? Yeah, big time, big time. Big time. Uh, another example. Uh, you you hear about the, the terrorist groups and they form all kind of terrorist groups. There is like a mile long uh, terrorist group. Uh, to be a member and to to do well and then to be a prince of this uh, group, which means that you are in in a charge of ten people, you have to kill by yourself uh, 10 uh, non-Muslim, especially Christian, I mean, mm -hmm. in that case, only Christians. So one of those prints, he, 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 he smashed uh, a Christian priest uh, in his head to the ground by a, a, a red brick with his own hand. And he, see, and I seen a lot of blood gushing out of people in a normal day in a normal street, uh, in a broad day like that. So to see, you know, I can't hurt a plant, and I came from the Middle East. But those people can see the the scene of blood gushing out, and they see the the screaming for mercy, and they still doing it. It's not only the teaching. It's not only the teaching, it's something very disturbingly satanic about it. How about that? Sophie, I have a question. How many of these, sure. uh, you say that these are, you call them princes? Yeah, a prince of a group, uh, okay, um, let's uh, say it's a class and then the, the teacher of the class and then the the the, the principal so uh, those class uh, of the uh, baby terrorist uh, they they have to have somebody in a charge they call him ends of the group mm -hmm. um, okay so are there any princesses who are given no, this position no but uh, the deal about islam is um, Anything could go as long as it advances the purpose of annihilating and destroying the, uh, the non-Muslim. Uh, yeah, and one more thing I want to tell you guys, since we are only uh, together, uh, they are hallucinated, uh, Islam is hallucinated uh, by Christianity. Different. I don't say it on um, different radio, but uh, uh, Islam is hallucinated by Christianity. What does that More mean? What, is, what do you mean? What yeah. does that mean? Uh, uh, obsessed. You know, like obsessed with the greatest uh, hate you can imagine. So the uh, the Islam is hates Christianity. Yeah. Uh, they're, obsessed, they're, they're, obsessed. they're obsessed. Okay. Yeah, obsessed with this hate. To, gotcha. to the point that they blind them to do anything. Can you say why? Why why they have this? 
from a spiritual point of view because you know uh, if they if they follow the the lord of the world which is uh, in the bible satan and in their book says allah is the lord of the world which is in, in our book is satan uh, so satan is against a- anything good in general and of course against the uh, the plan of salvation and all that um yeah, without without the spiritual uh, thing is uh, it was only the Christians and the Jews in the, in the in the Middle East. There was no other uh, uh, religions. Hmm. But I I noticed the priority is to to destroy the, the the Christians. And the thing is about that, even if you are not a Christian, you're gonna be hurt. Why? Because if you're not. Uh, Asian for uh, believe in Buddhas, automatically to them you are Christian. Whether if you say you are atheist, you can say you are anything else, they see you as Christian. Uh, They see America, the whole country, as a Christian country. They see the West, whether all the whole West are individually Christians or not, they see it as a Christian force that has to be brought down and destroyed wow so they're they're truly the antichrist then the 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 perfect antichrist the mm-hmm. spirit mm-hmm. wow the perfect antichrist yeah and, and a lot of people thought that there would only be one yeah one and yeah but this is this is this is the thing and since we talk about psychology uh, now I, I need your help you guys uh, that you see i watch a lot of uh, um um, crime programs, yeah. and you always see the 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 perpetrator or the criminal happen to to fool his victim easily. Yeah. So they are masters when it comes to fooling others. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Now, see, the thing is that they might be fooling the masses but in reality they're not fooling the u.s government the u.s government has infiltrators in in the government as to why you had such a hard time expressing your concern and you know trying to teach or or trying to alert uh they're looking the other way because there is a huge agenda here uh to uh allow this element inside the the country so that it helps in the spread of this so there's a lot of satanic and evil doers here in this country and all over the world as you can see what's happened in europe uh, that are uh allowing for the proliferation of this ideology and and craziness to to multiply throughout the you know the world so that's why you found such resistance yeah you know um I might sound funny, but when you watch it, I, I grew up watching American cowboy movies. Mm-hmm. And always the cowboy, the good cowboy, you want him to win and happen, he always win it at the end of the movie after all the troubles. I see that what's happening now, as bad as it is, as a good, good, good thing. Uh, here's why. Islam will come to America and the West one way or another and thank the Lord that that Islam is coming and uh, removing the the, the mask faster than we expect and showing the real nature and showing it to everybody and get everybody sick of them. Uh, We, Australia, all the way to to Canada, people are sick of them. Not everybody, but at least is picking momentum. In the meantime, Saudi Arabia, which is behind a lot of things, uh, we hopefully get time to cover that. Saudi Arabia started, according to a good analyst I follow, started with $5 trillion worth of money uh, they collect from the oil, and now they are down to their last uh, three quarter of a trillion. And he was saying if the 9-11 family sue them, they will be eaten in the streets of uh, the Saudi royal family, 
which contains 15,000 prints, they will be eaten in the streets of Saudi Arabia. So what's happening now, it's really going in our favor and even faster than we hoped for. Yeah, but the only problem is that w if they do come to the West, and of course they're already here, but I mean, if, yeah. if they if they continue with not allowing for vetting and not, you know, continuing to open up the borders, allowing people to just pour in without knowing who they are, what's going to happen is that um, the, the government has, you know, already put a, a, a big fight to be able to protect the, the the citizens here in the United States, so there's a big bias as to you know who they're going to let in, and 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 they're they're leaning towards bringing these uh, inf I call them the infidels, bringing the, them in here, <laughs> but but you know it's gonna it's gonna end up in bloodshed. I mean we're, um, the American people, most of them are heavily armed, and they they're not going to tolerate that. There's going to be huge. A uh, huge bloodshed here, and uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that we win, though. Uh, I'm hoping that that's the case, but I mean, why? You know, it's going to be a horrible thing, and and again, that see, that that's already pre-planned. See, uh, the thing is, Islam is like uh, a, um, a lame, old, and um, ugly man leaning on uh, sticks. And walking by those sticks, those sticks. If they, if we take away those sticks, he will collapse. Those sticks are the corrupt clowns in the governments. Mm. If those cl corrupt clowns collapse, this movement of Islam will will uh, will collapse. When you watch this ISIS fighters uh, grab the knives and uh, uh, like showing their buffed chest and sure. uh, before they behead somebody and then when they capture them they weep and they uh, they dust their their head with uh, with the dust what does that say they say it's, it's, they are coward they are not as brave and as they show themselves but they are gaining this um, braveness from our corrupt politicians sure. we should focus on those corrupt politicians before we focus on anybody else and also also keep educating the mass because we have trouble with with uh, explaining that to Americans uh, I met a, a good lady in 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 in, uh, in a good meeting uh, we were talking. We were talking about uh, Islam and the Muslim Brotherhood meeting, and then I asked her, "What do you think?" She said, "You know," uh, and she doesn't know anything about my background. Uh, she met a Muslim cabbie, and, and uh, she started talking to him. And he's from Iraq, and she told him, "What do you think?" He said, "You know what? Uh, America destroyed my country uh, before uh, before America Iraq was." Iraq was uh, was a great uh, place. Now the Muslim Brotherhood are taking over and controlling and messing my country. And she said, I I I, I was tearing up and I told him on behalf of all the Americans and America, I apologize to you. And she gave him a hug and she said, you know what? Uh, if we just uh, take care of the Muslim Brotherhood, everything will be dandy. The thing is, it's not the Muslim Brotherhood only. It's everybody else. It's all of them. Yep. It's uh, the one in uh, in a suit who speaks so sweet, yep. who talks so sweet. He's highly educated. He's way worse than the one with a machete. But everybody here thinking the one in a machete is very dangerous. No, the one in a suit is more dangerous because he's now like a uh, um, educated, educated thief. Yes. He's yep. not going to go and rob the liquor store for $100. He's going to rob the treasury yes. for millions of dollars. Yep. But the Americans can see that, and we need to help them seeing that. You're you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So, how do you? How would you like to proceed? I mean, we could uh, do uh, again. My suggestion is let's put together a good uh, plan of how to direct the conversation when we do the pre-recording. Uh, what you have expressed today, and I hope that you can remember all of that, uh, is crucial crucial because uh you know i totally am in alignment with you in other words i'm right on board with you i believe you 
okay um, I'm pretty sure that there, there are many many stories and even when we air it probably more than likely there's going to be other people that are going to say hey I I have a story and then I'll hear another one say I have a story and it's going to be probably like that because a lot of people are being pushed away not wanting people don't want to hear it um, so I, I'm more than happy to give a platform to this because this is the truth and I want everyone to understand it because we've been lied to um, a lot of people are just too complacent, too, too good-hearted and, and good-natured. They don't believe that this type of thing can go on, that this type of evil is even possible. In the, you yeah. know, because they don't have it in, inherently inside of them. They don't think anybody else does. And so they, there's a big, huge denial on, on, on a lot of people's part uh, where, you know, in reality, they just want to be good citizens and allow everybody the opportunity to come to this country but not everybody has the best interest in this country of this country so by you coming on board here and having this conversation with us i think it's going to uh, be another voice along with farah and other people that probably will come in another voice to add to this uh to this to this piece of the puzzle because it's a big piece of the puzzle and 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 you lived it right i mean you you lived under sharia yeah so we've got to talk about that. So what do you want to, um, how do you want to address this tomorrow? Um, Beautiful. Gigi. Beautiful. Thank you very much for that. And uh, my husband is sitting here. I hope yeah. he can listen, but unfortunately he can hear what you say. No, no problem. No thank problem. you. You, um, if you can, uh, you know, if you want later, uh, mm -hmm. put, put together like a, a talking points, you know, some, some points that you want me to address with you, some questions that you might want me to ask so that you can bring up the points, uh, mm -hmm. email it to me and then, um, and, and, and Serena, I'll pass it on to you and, um, and then we'll just ask those questions and hopefully it'll touch upon those things that people need to know. They need to know about the atrocities and the things that you witnessed. Yeah. You know? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, it's a puzzle. But here is uh, our plan: is uh, simply to unfold this puzzle and explain it in a very simple way. You see, when you uh, study math, you, the the teacher doesn't give you uh, uh, the the solution for each problem, but she gives you what will help you to solve a lot of problems. And sure. this is what we want to to do here. We want to give them a good and simple. Uh, uh, background yeah. about those uh, yeah. and why they behave this way and people will be analysts from now on they don't have to wait for uh, a lying guy like Dr. Judy Jasser on TV saying this is not Islam because this is exactly. pure Muslim Middle Eastern culture uh, exactly so. they can start deciphering it for themselves and start yeah. start seeing a pattern and and you know and and what you said about that just even the the, the peaceful muslim you, you got to be worried about as well that that is amazing um so the, you're right you're right so i'm um, i'm very happy that you reached out to me and to serena and um we're gonna we're, is, are you guys okay for tomorrow can you are you available tomorrow yeah, to record yeah sure you are just serena how's your time slot tomorrow um what sunday yeah. sunday you're okay for that same yeah. time same yeah, time yeah yeah it's fine i want to i want to ask sophie a question before we go about the they mentioned that the focus would be they, they have a focus of the gym that they wanted to, to talk about can you touch on that briefly a little bit because that's the part that fascinates me Okay, the 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 jinn, uh, the uh, the there is a chapter in the Quran dedicated to uh, demon. They call it jinn, um, and 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 the thing is about this culture is consumed in the pagan religion for a long time. If you remember in the Bible, there is a story about uh, Elijah versus the other uh, false prophets where they cut themselves open for their God to, to hear them. It's the same thing happened with Muslim every year. They cut themselves open. 
uh, if you heard of the Ashura ritual. I've never heard of that. Can, uh, that is horrible. What What do they? What do you mean they cut okay. themselves open? Okay. If you If you guys give me like five minutes of your time, and I know oh, you yes. me oh, fifteen minutes. No, no, this is fine. This is yeah, fine. let's go over those videos I, I sent you quickly, and uh, uh, I will explain it. Like I will take less than half a minute in each video. Okay, how uh, how are we gonna do that? I mean, they're gonna be obviously playing. Vi uh, should should we mute the the, the no, audio? Uh, we, no, no, no. Uh, mute the the videos uh, audios. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, All yeah. right. Bear with me. Let me see uh, which one is. There's one that says pics of Islam, right. my dream, and the other one is okay. I got it. All right, it says preliminary meeting, Pre yes. preliminary meeting, okay. Yeah. So which one do you want me to start with first? Let's start with... Uh, one, my neighborhood? Yes. My neighborhood, okay, let me see here. All right, let me turn it off. Okay, so it's it's playing now. Yeah. And I have a picture of a camera and I have a, some guy on right. a car, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Islam is a mafia culture. Mohammed was like a mafia leader in a sense. Uh, the Italians and the Sicilian picked up after the Arab culture, which were the Arab was in, uh, invaded Italy for a while. And uh, that's why we see the Italian uh, mafia culture, but it picked up after the Arab culture. And they stopping uh, cars, they stop cars and uh, asking money. Um, so if you don't pay, these, if you don't pay, these the, are young guys. Yeah. these are young punks, man. Look at that. Yeah. So if they don't and, pay, they 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 yeah. hit, they kill you, they hit you, they break your car. Yeah, and in uh, in minute uh, um, in second four forty plus, there is a red bus will pass by. You will notice there is a guy with a, a knife trying to slash uh, the tire. And they are throwing rocks on, on the bus and trying to stop the, the traffic also. And in the, in the bus itself, there is uh, the bus is like a, car, a sardine can f f full with, with, with Muslims. And pretty much the population is mostly Muslims. And uh, there is a Muslim who reads the Quran, Muslim who are sexually harassing you. Uh, and all kind of uh, gasoline smell on the, on the bus, all kind of horrible things in the bus only. And sexual harassment is very something you breathe in the Middle East. Like I told you guys, it's like uh, the Muslim man is like a walking private part of a man. Uh, sexual is something consuming his uh, brain. Huh. Let's go to the the, the next uh, video. Now the oh, next one. Removed. The next one doesn't show for some reason. It's, uh, yeah, it's removed. Let's go to the third. The one. third one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this little boy running, and then some kids <laughs> in the bicycles. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but it, he looked he looked disturbed. The expression on that little boy running. Yeah. He looked disturbed, and he's running back in. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the Arab uh, culture before and after Muhammad, it does not matter. They took pride in outnumbering each tribe. And uh, until this day, they outnumber everybody. Uh, in some uh, places, there is average uh, kids per family, 21 kids per family. And uh, as you see, this neighborhood is not a poor neighborhood or, or, uh, or a ghetto. This is a middle class neighborhood. And, uh, yeah. and the, uh, yeah, and the mama could be working as a belly dancer, like a prostitute. Uh, Papa will be working like a drug dealer or something. And the kids having a lot of uh, time to waste. So as you see, throwing uh, uh, fireworks at each other. For, uh, somebody walking, no problem. As you see, the, the Muslim girls, they walk by, no problem. But if a Christian girl walks by, they, they chase her and they say, I want to lick you your private thing mm -hmm. and they can squeeze her uh, thing I have a Muslim guy who wrapped his um, arm from my back uh, all the way to my front if you understand what I mean mm -hmm. and squeeze so hard mm -hmm. and Muslim men they spit on my on my thing uh, like big spit and a lot of things in minute uh, 11 if you can uh, forward that uh, video there is a guy uh, dressing in a blue uh, dress and minute 11 uh, 
he's gonna uh, lift his uh, dress up and show his junk. Showing the junk is very normal. Uh, they can show it, uh, they can wiggle it, they can giggle it, they can highlight it, they can squeeze it, they can rub it. Uh, scratching their uh, crutch is very normal. And uh, even I have a, a Muslim guy who took his junk out and he was uh, chasing me while I was walking and he said, come and use it. Oh boy. It's it's almost like mayhem. There there is no, no or there's there's no. Um, it's, this is it's despicable because Look, it's all the it's all the boys and the men who are behaving this way. The women are just walking through. No, that's that's another thing about women. Muslim women are not your typical decent w women as we know. She's not equivalent to American decent woman. Muslim women can de devour your flesh alive. Wow. They are but not I'm looking at these videos is what I'm saying. And these are all boys and men. The women are just walking through. This is what I'm seeing. No, the there is there is another videos for women. Uh, you, you're going to see. I have my neighbor. Okay. She, I, I lived across from a, an imam. Uh, and my neighbor was... Uh, she stopped a traffic of almost a half a mile street and she was having a fight by herself uh, running to to toward the uh, uh, chops and uh, getting uh, glasses and throwing the glasses everywhere yelling very uh, vulgar sexual uh, things that's another deal about women but uh, it looks like they're possessed i mean how yes, that, that's what it is it's possession this is going on and on it's Right. Possession. Yeah. That's that's, that's yeah. what that is. Yep. So yeah. because that makes a lot of sense, you know, Sophie. Because if if it's a place that there is huge portals of evil coming in and out, then the women have to be possessed as well, Serena. Yeah. Yes, it is. But aren't the men also raping the, the Muslim women too? Here's the thing: the Muslim women. There is. Um, you know, it's normal for somebody to be sexually active, okay, but this is hyperly active. It's not. It's above the the, the normal active person. Uh, I, I, my neighbor once again, this imam daughter. She 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 was married to something you don't want to mess with you if you see him coming in one street you want to go run to the other streets to, to avoid seeing him uh, and uh, and she got in disagreement with him she burned him uh, and he was uh, she burned him alive and he was running in the street and in uh, full of Muslim they didn't help him uh, anyway uh, he died a few days later, she was having fights with her imam dad because she wants to marry. She can't hold on till 40 days pass. According to Islam, she has to wait for 40 days or something. She couldn't hold on because she was having sexual urge very bad and she was screaming it out <laughs> that she wants to... Uh, you know, yeah. And yes, her, yeah. That. It's, that's, all, that's all that is, but how often does this happen? I mean, like, you know, we look at these and we look at all the video footage of these horrible things that happen, and 95% of it is the male, is it not? Not really. I've been, uh, the first rape was not, uh, uh, if I remember, because I've been sexually molested countless times, uh, so I don't remember when exactly, but at age six, uh, this imam daughter was raping me sexually. A da uh, the the, the, the yeah. imam's daughter? Yeah. Holy cow. Uh, uh. <laughs> So what we're seeing is that the women usually probably might be home with the kids and the guys have really nothing with, better to do, right? And, and with each other also. With each other also. This uh, niqab thing or the burqa thing covers a lot of troubles. Huh. Yeah. This is not good. I mean, I'm just, I'm going through these videos and I'm just looking at 
guys. Yeah, let me, let me, yeah, yeah, let me explain those videos to you because that will help. And yeah. you guys can uh, review the those videos again at your own convenient time. Yeah, yeah. So this is not, I'm watching number five because number four wasn't yeah. working. Yeah, I think we are in the same one where they are shooting and yeah. throwing rocks, maybe. Yeah. Okay, uh, in uh, in their uh, books, uh, Book of Caliphate says that they were constantly violent and breaking fights to the point that their Muslim leader take them out of their uh, territories and go to a Christian territory and let them fight with those Christians because they constantly fight. They were 24-7 away from the elite neighborhood like Beverly Hills and all this fancy neighborhood Calabasas and all these neighborhoods fights breaks everywhere all the time all day uh, all day every day and it could be very very simple thing that somebody told somebody else good morning didn't mean it uh, it could trigger a fight uh, somebody who wake up and didn't have a good uh, time or not in the mood he can start to fight and those fights as you can see uh, they throw rocks at each other they uh, they shoot at each other they they uh, use sticks I have a lot of videos of fights not only this one just is just, just samples for my uh, presentations and uh, they, they, they use uh, big uh, wooden sticks, they use uh, machetes, uh, meat cleavers. Yeah, videos uh, are incredible. Yeah, buck, bucket, uh, bucket knives and even uh, boiling uh, oil. <laughs> and I had my neighbor, he Muslim neighbor, thank God that I didn't get stormed by this uh, boiled, uh, boiled oil. He was throwing, boil in, he was having oil boiled in big container and he was throwing them randomly. And uh, thank God I, I, I didn't get harmed in that day by the oil. Uh, they can use anything and everything, no problem, nothing will happen. If somebody get killed, no problem. Uh, uh, somebody get harmed so bad or disabled, uh, uh, no problem. The, the, and the weird thing, uh, Ari and Serena, the weird thing is after all this big fight, and I seen a guy with his belly was slashed open by two swords going in, in different directions. After all those fights, they get up and they, they hug each other and they say sorry and everybody go home <laughs> and then they put uh, belly dance music and they dance and then they have good time. After we are as Christian terrorized, we cannot go out while those fights are going on because we can get killed. It's possession. It, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't. I don't think I can handle any more of this. I'm just going through the videos and I'm watching these guys. So far, it's all men so yeah. far yeah and I no I, I i i can get you some women as well but you know uh, yeah we'll get to the women deal because uh, I, I hear i have a friend and unfortunately she doesn't want any she doesn't want to hear anything about the m word the muslim or islam uh, but she tells me she, she feels very really bad for the oppressed woman who has to dress in black and uh, and uh, and walk in in a, in, a, in a hot day like that. I told her, you know what? You don't want to hear anything about uh, the I word or the M word. But let me tell you, this poor woman in plague, she will devour your flesh uh, alive, raw 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 raw, raw flesh because you are not following her belief. Yeah. So don't, you either wanna hear about it or don't sympathize with them. And the thing is about that, you want Americans to understand those women are not oppressed the way you think. It might be some few individuals, yes, but the vast majority are not the way you think they are. Yeah. Yeah. I get carried away. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, so I understand what you're saying. So, uh. so Sophie, what about all of these videos that these women? Okay, are uh, uh, yeah, have? yeah. Let's let's uh, let's go through the videos uh, very quickly. No, not the, and, not the videos you have posted, but the videos that a lot of Muslim women are making about the abuses that they go through. Oh, the one who wanna get out of it 
No, there's many, many, many who do this. Many women who get out of this religion and they yeah. make videos about the horrible, horrible treatment that they went through. Like you're, you, like you're talking, there are many women who make videos about the horrible treatment that they receive as a Muslim woman. Well, I, I'm not saying like the hundred percent of them are bad, but my no. yeah, my, my uh, how can I say? It? Yes, I applaud those kind of women like Sarah, like uh, Sandra Solomon, and all those people. But our goal is to save. My goal personally, before anything, to save America from this uh, flood. So. I want to tell Americans something very bad coming your way and it's not don't don't sit down and worry about okay some some year are good some year are bad because the reality is it's gonna be very bad for you before you even take your chance to say good or bad I, I know that some people are decent souls and uh, I, I, I love and admire those people who come out of it. But I focus on the ones who are consumed with all this uh, uh, demonic and satanic possession. And, uh, yeah, is that, is that why me. you say that you focus on the... Well, because yeah, yeah. Your, your husband wrote that there is a focus of the jinn aspect of the ritual, right? Yeah. Yeah, and if you scroll down, those are the rituals. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with those rituals or not, but I can I can briefly explain it to you. Yes, where, where, where do you want me to scroll? If you scroll down to uh, no-go zones or uh, yeah. uh, Islamic rituals. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see in the first one. Yeah, the first one is called the Czar. Um, they uh, they recite uh, Quranic verses. I seen that uh, when I was little. They recite Quranic verses. They they cry. They 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 dance in a very uh, like they keep uh, um, like twirling maybe and uh, going in circles uh, till they pass out and they uh, slit throats of chickens and throw it uh, hmm. in the bottom of their feet. Uh, it's called Zar. Okay. Uh, the, the, the woman crying, yeah. 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 And the second one is uh, uh, Muhammad was the holiest man ever lived. Mm. Everything about him is holy, even his biological waste. And I hope I don't ruin your appetite. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so the Muhammad is not here, but lucky for the Muslims and the Shiite, those are or Shiite only do that, uh, that their imams are here and the imam represent uh, Muhammad. So they take their biological waste and ra rub themselves with it uh, to get like blessed. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Well, I, you, I you, yeah, you, you understand that this is worse than I thought. You understand that. So, all right. So then the third one is? The third one is, okay, we heard uh, Obama many times uh, refer to Ramadan, Iftar, Fitr. Uh, after the, mo the months of Ramadan, after they fast, the following uh, day at the end of uh, the months of Ramadan is called the Eid Fitr. They have two major uh, feasts. Uh, Eid means feast. Uh, two major ones, like ours are Christmas and Easter. Theirs is Fitr and Adha. In the Fitr, they gather early in the morning, dawn time, and uh, they, uh, they pray, uh, which they put a curse on the non-Muslim, especially the Christian and the Jew, and then they keep saying that Allah frees the blood in their veins, uh, shake the, 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 the land under their feet, uh, make their kids orphan, and all those kind of curses. <laughs> oh, uh, and then they gather in large, gigantic number, humongous number, as you can see, and they chant Allah Akbar 
for two reasons, they show force and the other thing, uh, they strike fear in the heart of the non-believers. And when they used to walk in our streets, my mom, I was a little kid, my mom grown up, uh, and she was frightened and he, she hugs me because it's very scary the way they uh, with their beard and the anger in their face uh give Allah Akbar. it was very scary hmm. so that's that's another ritual uh, the last one i believe is the ashura uh or no the second from bottom mm -hmm. is the ashura okay uh okay uh, muslim culture is uh Muslim culture is uh, Saudi Arabian culture, savage people, bunch of savage people. So a bunch of savage people wanted to have, um, let's say, uh, Obama as a caliph. Caliph is a successor. So a caliph is a successor, simply successor of Muhammad. Want to have, let's say, uh, just for the sake of example, uh, Obama as a caliph and the, um, uh, the uh, other bunch of uh, uh, savage wanted to have Hussein, the grandson of Muhammad as a caliph. So those bunch of savages, uh, two bunch of savages was fighting and then they, the bunch of savages as because it's a culture of treachery, they do not stand up for anybody or anything and uh, once they see their life is threatened, so they walked away from Hussein and they left him alone. Hussein was murdered because of that. Uh, his head was cut and gave it as a, a, a gift to the sitting caliph. And then they, 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 they ran over his body with horses, 10 horses, 10 strong, strongest horses, uh, ran over his body back and forth till they leveled his body with the ground. So that's why those Muslim, the Shia Muslim, are, uh, 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 commemorating the memory of uh, of Hussein, and they saying our blood instead of your blood we let you down. Our ancestors let you down, so our blood instead of your blood. That's why they cut uh, their uh, their um, their body and head like that. Oh my goodness! And they remember it like. In the, in, the, in the Old Testament, uh, uh, Elijah and the uh, false prophets, the false prophets were cutting their their uh, their heads as well. We see in it now in video. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, uh, and the last video is Adha. Adha is sacrifice means sacrifice, uh, and this is equivalent to our Easter. Uh, and. Um, a story simple also uh, Abraham because they steal everything they cannot have their own identity they steal other people identity which mm. is the Christian in that case and the Jewish uh, identity and they said uh, Abraham sacrificed the uh, uh, lamb for his uh, son Isaac uh, son Ishmael they don't believe in Isaac uh, Ishmael that's why they sacrifice animals and the thing about those Muslims I seen it my grandmother used to say that uh, animals are poor creatures and we should take care of them we should not harass them or abuse them uh, they enjoy, like I never seen it, enjoy the agony of the animal. Yeah, it gives them power. It, it, uh, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the streets of the, uh, the streets of, once again, away from the elite neighborhood, is flooded uh, with uh, blood of animals for four days. Mm. This ritual is, is just so disturbing. <laughs> And talking about uh, that while you guys are watching the video, you see how they hang the animal and start mm -hmm. to cutting the yeah. pieces. In the um, uh, Saudi Arabia culture or this Muslim or pre-Muslim culture, the Arab used to take pride in disgracing uh, the person who were they were fighting against and then they kill. After they kill that person, they uh, they cut him into little pieces mm -hmm. and drag him and all that stuff and burn him and all that stuff. 
uh, as you can see now, after they kill American soldier, they don't only kill American soldier, they walk, they drag his body all over. That's extension to the same culture of disgracing mm. uh, uh, the dead person is so uh, into that culture. And cutting uh, the person into little pieces, this uh, kind of enjoyment to them. In the Quran, there is a verse that says, after you kill the infidel, cut the little uh, cut them in little pieces especially their fingers and uh, the nose for some reason the nose means the integrity of the person um, and uh, one more incident they, they they took the butchers like I told you guys those are those guys are the butchers who is cutting the, the animal um, slicing uh, the the meat uh, they had I don't know what, what was the cause but they can kill a Christian without any cause um, they got four uh, Christians and they hooked them up uh, on the uh, shop and they were cutting them in slices like that in a, and a year it's either 90 or 95 Wow Wow Terrible. So I have a, yeah I have another video sorry uh, it's a Christian slaughterhouse that I shared it with you I can send it to you and I also have an image for it sure uh, where they take the Christians uh, here is the deal uh, they immigrate to a place to a country and uh, then they uh, they populate enough they have uh, terrorist um, uh, camp training and then they start a genocide and there is in the last hundred years there's many genocides we keep referring to and the numbers by the millions at least the the, the smallest genocide usually it's uh, was a Rwandan genocide uh, close to a million and they take those Christian in the slaughterhouses, like we said, the Quran ordered them to chop us into little pieces, and this is what they do. There is a Christian slaughterhouse on the camera for people to see what they are capable of doing, and there's a lot of stories, but into a Christian guy home, and they chopped his family into little cubes. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not a it, it's not a religion of peace or or anything like it, it's it's what's being it's what's being thrown down our throats so that we can believe it and then we are open to admitting this monster inside our our borders and our homes and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's horrible. Um yeah, yeah I I, tr I totally uh you know, want to expose as much as possible um, that, you know, as many people as want to come forward. If you know any other people uh, that have experienced Sharia law or, or lived in the Middle East and can, and, you know, be a witness to this as well, that, that just gives more credibility, I feel. And um, so, yeah, and any videos that you might have that show women, uh, you know, in, in not exactly, uh, you know, being their motherly selves or their, yeah. you know, that would help as well because then, then it's, uh, we can clearly say that, yeah, it's a possession. It's not just, uh, it's not just infecting males, but it's also infecting females. It's just that maybe they just weren't caught on camera. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't want to take more of your time, but everything you say, every word that there is a story for it. Yeah, uh, no, but, uh, our, uh, Imam, uh, wife, the, the neighbor, uh, we lived uh, 25 years uh, next to each other. Uh -huh. Of course, it was ho horrendous. Um, and then I said, I'm going to wipe, and the last one I will make him lick my, shine my shoes with his tongue. <laughs> Thank God he didn't live to do that. But yeah. he started a genocide. Uh, and my mom, of course, so Christian was frightened. My mom heard my, uh, my imam neighbor which she used to come and eat our food and come to my mom when her uh, husband bruised her uh, and all that stuff. 
she said why we wait for the military to to do anything uh, 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 and bothered by them I have a machetes in my kitchen and I can walk in the door now and uh, slash their throats by myself <laughs> Wow this is uh, this is again the Muslim woman is not your typical sweet lovey-dovey woman yeah yeah they're 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 the the counterpart uh, to to the male uh, warrior so it, it, I guess they're they're believing and and I thought that maybe they were uh, victims you know in a way that because the male is the dominant there that they would you know be complacent or subservient to the male and they have no choice do you think they have a choice or this is something that's just part of their culture here is a good answer um away from few cases but here's a good answer look at europe and look at the u.s they come here they have a chance to walk away and run away from their husband that is true uh, why they keep having this burqa and then why they keep uh Bushing for the Sharia law to 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 be implemented, and another thing, why they don't war, warn Americans about it? Yeah, you, I don't see I don't see that many. I see a, a ton of them walking in the streets of London's with this black horrific uh, burqa. The first time I seen it as a kid, I screamed. I said the ghost because I didn't know any better. Yeah, yeah. they look. She looked like a ghost. Uh, why they don't? We see many of them running the streets uh, of London demanding Sharia law more than uh, running away from the Sharia no, law. You got That's a great point. That's a great point. I mean, if they're coming into another land that they have the ability to escape that, you're 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 absolutely correct. Then, then what are they doing? I would think it's the opposite. I think that when you enter another country that is a foreign country, you're even more dependent on your husband because you're surrounded by foreigners, and and you, you're you're there what as a refugee or on, a, on asylum or on a visa. And it's not like you have family to go to, but you you are totally dependent on your husband, on your family, well, whoever you can deal with. That's that's good point. That's good point. But you can walk away. Like I came here. Uh, uh, I was watching uh, all the American uh, programs and I understand English but I couldn't speak it. So when I came here I was like my tongue was tied up. But I could walk. Well, I know that I can go to a police officers and say I'm in trouble. I can. I know that. I can. I know that I can run away to another neighborhood and find somebody who can help me. Especially in societies like the Western societies, that they are the people are very helpful beyond my expectation. Uh, so this is a good point, especially if you don't speak a language, you're uh, very foreigner to the culture, but you still can do something. You still can do something. Uh, it's, um, and it could also be the Stockholm sy Syndrome, uh, Serena. You know, where, uh, yeah. have you heard of that? Love, yeah, I, I heard of that. Yeah. yeah, where they're so, you know, they're, they can, they tend to, uh, to fall in love. Yeah, they become a slave to their captors. Yeah. But here's here's the, the the real answer to that is uh, is uh, it could sound odd, but here is the answer. Okay, they are suffered under Sharia law, but they have uh, very few options. They're gonna be uh, the um, fire, wood, and hell or they might make it uh, to paradise uh, in extreme cases, but they have to uh, uh, help the Sharia law ex uh, expand because the Sharia law is a law of the God. Because they have a very twisted uh, understanding of everything. Even if it doesn't sound logical, the unlogical sound logical to them or make sense to them, and the, uh, the 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 opposite is not true. Uh, uh, so they have to to spread Sharia law. 
uh, because this is the even if I don't like it, even if I'm not abused by it, but this is uh, the law of the, uh, uh, totally the supreme, the yeah, supreme. Totally uh, uh, After yeah. thousands of years of this, and coming from an, an entire country that is all believing in it, everyone is brainwashed. Yeah. They cannot, they yeah. cannot question. No, no. You know, it's it's amazing because. Um, at first, I thought I'm going to talk to Muslims uh, who studied in American universities and I said, would you accept a guy who who had sex with was five year old or six year old? And he said, I'll, I'll give him my mom, my wife, my daughter, myself. Uh, wow. Something uh, something not right in their play, brain because they come, I guess, uh, for long generation from uh, first first uh, cousin marriage and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. no, something really wrong with their brain. Yeah, yeah, and there's not a lot of uh, homosexuality there, huh? There is a ton of uh, homosexuality, way, way worse than here. Saudi Arabia is nothing but uh, homosexuality. Uh, men get together only, they have it. Uh, women are together only, they have it. In Egypt, they are bi uh, bisexual mostly. Mm. Uh, men and women, men, men uh, all of but they have to hide it. They have to hide it if it's going to be uh, shameful. They have to to hide it in a in a way. If it's gonna be like, uh, might bring some troubles. It's okay in Islam, and it's not okay in Islam. Also, Islam. Uh, uh, imagine like a round table with five people around this table, and each one is disagreeing with the other and fighting over that, and they write uh, their opinions, and all the opinions are right. This is Islam exactly. The same case with Islam. Everything is bad and everything is good in the same time everything is forbidden and everything is uh, is uh, allowed in the same time you see no uh, actually i don't <laughs> okay okay i tell you i'm sorry i can't i can't understand most of this i don't know i don't know it happens Serena, Serena right. you're breaking I, up. You're breaking is, up. There is, yeah, a simple thing for that, Serena. All right. Uh, Muhammad wanted everybody to follow him. So whatever this person wants, he's going to get. He wants uh, little boys uh, only, he's going to get little boys only. The other person, no, he doesn't. He think boys are bad, but maybe girl, little girls are good only. Okay, this person gets the girls, and the boys are good, the girls are good, sex with anything is good. Uh, if another person say, no, I only like sex with, with uh, watermelon, okay, <laughs> then sex with watermelon. It is, it is in, the, in the teaching, it says that a Muslim man can, should not restrain himself if he want to, if he has the urge to, to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, to have uh, sex. He could have, if, if his wife is not available and her, um, uh, one of her family members is there, he should have uh, sex with this family member. Uh, sister, uh, wife, uh, sister, wife, mom, uh, uh, auntie, uh, grandmother, uh, daughter. If all this is not available, the, the neighbor, if this all not available, an animal, if this all not available, a watermelon. It says that in their books. Yeah, it's anything anything to alleviate the man's urges and needs, right? Because they were culture consumed with sex, they use a woman in nine places, uh, not only in one or two places. Uh, every whole possible in a woman was used um, because they were fat, and the women have creases uh, on their belly. They use those creases. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Serena, by the way, I have a good friend named Serena. <laughs> Just want to let you know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, well, this has been a very, uh, very enlightening 15 minutes. <laughs> I, I, I have other 
I just want to mention that my husband is writing some memos for me, and one of them he wants to tell you guys uh, the paradise, the, the Islamic paradise. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard much of it or not. <laughs> Hello? Uh, and um, the Islamic paradise is nothing but Vegas and, uh, and uh, steroid. Uh, 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 uh. It's steroid, yeah. So, so when they when they do all these terrible things, uh, they 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 gain access to that paradise, which is v Vegas on steroids. Yeah, unless I a, a, a kafir kills them, uh, that's why they they try to to die in the process. Uh -huh. Unless a kafir kills them, yeah. And what's a kafir? A kafir is any non-Muslim, and uh, ah. I want to say that uh, the boys in the paradise they don't bleed. By the way, when because they were complaining to Muhammad when they were uh, using uh, 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 little boys, unfortunately, uh, they bleed. They told him the boys are bleeding, and he said, "Don't worry about it. Here, just do it, and then in paradise the boys will not be bleeding." And by the way, the boys are Christian boys First. here. Of course. And uh, the, they would be wearing only a, 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 a jacket or like, a, yeah, like a jacket only and uh, nothing else. So he, his junk would be wiggling to entertain the Muslim. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate, uh, Sophie, your, uh, your, you know, all the information that you shared and... Um, you know, we'll definitely, you know, talk a little bit more. If, if you want to, you know, email me uh, with any follow-up questions or anything like that, um, or I can go ahead and figure out if this would even work as a, as a, as an actual audio show, uh, because you've shared so much information here uh, that I, I don't even know that you can duplicate it. <laughs> I'm sure, you, I'm sure you can. No, this I'm, one is fine. I think this one would be fine to upload and, and, and publish. Yeah, we, we could she definitely did narrate everything very um, clearly. Actually. Yeah, you you've you've gone way beyond the Call of Duty uh to explain and it's it's all been you know very candid you know and very uh on the spot so that it hasn't been rehearsed or anything i mean this is the first time that we've actually spoken so it's not you know you're sharing all the information that you know um and it's coming from your heart and you know and from your experience and i i, I can't even fathom duplicating this because i think you've covered pretty much a lot of it i know that there's more i, I know there is um but you know i think that there's only so much i think that the audience needs to take this you know a little bit at a time because it's so overwhelming and, and it's yeah. so just uh so i i can't even put it, it's so fantastical you know it's like oh my god is this for real is this for real and so that's why i think that by putting these things you know airing them I think that a lot more people may come out and say, yeah, I, I've experienced that too. And I really like to hear from you all, whoever has experienced what Sophie has experienced, what Farrah Prudence discussed the other day, um, please, you know, reach out to me and let me know because <laughs> uh, we've got to put this forth and people need to know the reality of the truth of what's coming in through our borders and we need to put a stop to this. So yeah. anything else you want to add uh, before yeah. we, we kind of go? Yes. Yes, uh, I, I want to say, uh, before I say thanks, uh, I want to say that uh, if we can uh, if we can employ those videos uh, properly and connect the behavior to the teaching of Islam and uh, the behavior of Mohammed, the founder of Islam, that will be very great message. They can't come back at us and say, oh, this is uh, maybe one incident here or there. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, no. uh, it's everywhere. Uh, it comes from the Quran itself. That would be great. Yes. Uh, but the thing, yeah, the, I, some of my videos, uh, we, when I spread them on Facebook, I found that YouTube removes it. Yes, right. Uh, so uh, I asked a good friend 
to download those videos for me Good. and then we can start uh, uh, putting them with confidence that we can go back over and over for them uh, on, on, with those videos and hopefully more videos. Um, we want to, uh, like you said, uh, today was beautiful uh, conversation. I enjoyed it a lot and it, we took a lot of time. Um, I enjoyed the time with you guys. Um, but if we can, uh, uh, I don't know how much time you can give me for each interview, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Um, well, an interview well, could be anywhere, you know, an hour to two hours. I mean, oh, but I was, okay. this, this today was, was just to talk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it ended up being, uh, you know, a very interesting conversation, which I think a lot of people should listen to because you've shared a lot of information. So yeah. what we could do is at a different day, uh, then maybe uh, address other issues that you feel are as, you know, as important that we haven't addressed already. I, I prepared a good uh, theme uh, for an interview, especially we talk about uh, the ban and the nonsense about the ban. Uh, there is a video, it's called The Harsher Face of Islam, uh, the, the Sudanese uh, genocide. I, I want to explain it from A to Z in a simple way, uh, saying that, okay, Muslim immigrated, very few number controlled the government and infiltrated the government, ended up controlling the government, implementing Sharia law, uh, having uh, few masks, started with few masks, and then spread all the masks around the Sudan. Five million plus Sudanese Christian was slaughtered, mm. and a lot were injured and hurt and enslaved. Uh, so people will know that, okay, it's not, uh, oh, it's ISIS infiltrated. No, it's not ISIS infiltrated. It's Islamic infiltrated immigration. Focusing not on ISIS, focus on Islamic infiltration because it's all Islam all around us. Wow. I appreciate that. That That is crazy. Uh, thank you so much. Um, and Serena, did you want to uh, say anything before we kind of like wrap it up? No, no, I'm, I'm pretty cooked. Are you cooked? Yeah. <laughs> she's banging. I'm watching a. I'm, I'm watching a little. I, I'm watching yeah. an icon of her hitting her head <laughs> against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty horrible. I, I, I have to laugh just because I just don't want to scream or cry or, or anything. I, I, it's terrible. Yeah. But uh, thank you so much again also for your courage and coming out and, 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 and discussing this with us. Um, I think that what we're going to do, um, Sophie, is we're going to go ahead and air this one. And mm -hmm. uh, I will go ahead and make sure that um, anything, you know, that divulges your, uh, your name is scrubbed. Uh, before we yeah. go ahead and do that, okay. we like you know to get to know who's as a person face perfect. look like. Oh, perfect, yeah. perfect. But for you guys, not for the. Oh no, you got it. Yeah, no, you, you know, you know. We got yeah. you. No, no, we got you. All right, sweetheart. Well, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Sophie and uh, Serena. Thank you uh, for being on. I know how 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 challenging that could be. <laughs> and, uh, she's cooked already. <laughs> she's cooked. She's completely cooked. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. You're I welcome. had a great uh, time, a great pleasure, and uh, I'm so happy. And uh, I'm happy that uh, this movement is making great momentum in America. Uh, and I, I hope uh, so. I people hope are so. waking up. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. hope so. All right. Well, you have a great evening. You too. My husband's saying bye bye to bye -bye, you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye to, to okay. him bye -bye. too. Take bye -bye. care. Thank, thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.